Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today is a follow-up video to one of my most popular videos of my review of the Brother SE600. It has now been two years since I got the machine, so let's talk about that. I purchased my Brother SE600 in uh, April of 2020, or yes, April of 2020, and uh, now it is April of 2022, so it has been two years, and I just wanted to hit some follow-up points on what we talked about in the first video, and that video was so successful, so I figured people would be interested to hear how it's still going. So uh, thank you to everyone who's watched the original video. It has almost 7,000 views, um, and it definitely is helping my subscriber count. I'm really hoping to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so that I can apply for monetization to make Make ad revenue off my videos um, and as well as selling patterns online so that I can move my business digital. Anyways, uh, so I bought the sewing machine for uh, $391.14. That's taxes, shipping, everything. Uh, when I looked online, it seems that the machine goes for about $450 right now, which in some of the comments on my last video, some people are saying that the machine is about $700. So uh, I don't know if there was a spike when it was more, but now it seems that it's below $500. So it's still a great purchase for the price, uh, whether you're using it for personal or for business, whether you're into the um, sewing or into the embroidery. They're both amazing features. I actually purchased my machine through Home Depot. At the time, it was the cheapest place to buy the machine. Uh, I still have not taken my machine to get serviced, which I'm very grateful for. Knock on wood again. Uh, it has worked wonderfully. Uh, obviously, there have been some issues here or there, but between you know swapping out the needle, rethreading the machine, cleaning it out, I've been able to resolve the, my issues and not have to take it to be serviced. Um, since last year, I have uh, done some more embroidery, definitely not as much as it's capable. I have bought files off of Etsy and used them on my machine. I actually have a video of when I made my own merch uh, with my logo. So I actually paid someone to turn my logo into an embroidery file and then use that. But I've also used embroidery files that were already created. Um, so it's very cool learning the different um, aspects and trying to utilize my machine to its most capabilities. Um, I still have not used my own software, however. Like I said, I paid someone to turn my logo into an embroidery file, so I have not used any of the uh, software on my own to go ahead and make my own files. Um, and during my first year, I had 1,256,614 stitches. Um, at, and then uh, now the machine has 2,185,188 stitches. So that means in the past year, I've stitched 928,574. So I definitely had more sewing the first year than the second. However, that being said, within the last year, I bought my serging machine, and that's what I've used a lot. I've used it in prepping my fabrics. I've used it in making uh, the reusable towels in finishing projects. So I have used two machines, and when I do my one-year review on the serger, there is no, like, digital count on it, so I can't tell you how many stitches I've done or how much time I've used it, but I would definitely say that the, you know, what is it? The 300,000 stitches that I'm missing there, definitely I've used that same amount of time sewing, if not more, using on the serger, which I can't wait to do a review on. Uh, spoiler, I love the machine. Both my uh, sewing machine and my embroidery machine are brother, and I bought them new from the manufacturer, and I cannot talk any more positively about them. I love both of the machines. Um... And I said in the last video that I thought it would be interesting if I timed myself to see how much time I spent sewing. Because like I said, there's more to just running uh, fabric through the machine. Um, you know, shopping, sewing, or sorry, shopping, ironing, uh, washing, all that sort of deal. So I, again, think it would be interesting, but I didn't time myself this year to see how long I did spend sewing. But I know it's probably equal to, if not more. Like I said, I used to uh, sew about six to eight hours a day. Um, I definitely don't sew every single day. But uh, I would say that I would do spend between 30 and 40 hours a week sewing. Uh, there are some weeks when I don't sew at all. And then the next week I'll sew twice as much. So it just depends. Like today I spent three hours straight 
surging uh, all the brown paper towels. I don't. I think that video hasn't been update, uploaded yet, so that's coming. Um, uh, a uh, update on the cotton flannel haul. So if you haven't watched that, check that out. Um, but it's been a great journey. I have learned so much. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube to try and, you know, learn. That That's how I taught myself. I taught myself using YouTube and then just making things. I've talked a lot about thrifting fabric and I think that is so important because when you buy your fabric at Joann's and it's 10 or $15 a yard, you don't want to try something new. You're scared to like just mess up and uh, I don't like being wasteful and I don't like wasting money either so to me being able to get fabric at the thrift store and to be able to uh, have something that I could mess up and can just learn from or just make something for myself that I'm not going to sell so I think that's really important and that's how I've learned I've learned through watching and through doing and I think it's really fun to watch videos even if it's not something I'm actually interested in like uh, and for example, like the um, video I did last week about the sunglasses cases, I probably watched 15 or 20 videos to see like which steps everyone did the same and which steps people did differently to see which construction method I thought was best. And also just tearing things apart. Sometimes I'll just seam rip something open just to see what steps can I uh, reverse engineer to see how it was put together. So it's definitely been a great skill to learn. And I talked about in my last video, learning how to hem pants and hem your clothes, which is a great skill to have. Uh, we are definitely moving out of lockdown and that's great and you know the c word is going away uh but you don't know what is around the corner and it's great to have a life skill that you can fix things yourself and you don't have to be so reliant on someone else anyways that's just my rant uh if you're looking to buy a sewing machine i'd highly recommend the brother se 600 and as i said in the last video if you don't have the money to spend on uh this high level machine then definitely just go ahead and get the machine that they have available at your store um any machine is great just get yourself a machine start sewing get yourself some thrift store fabric don't stress it if you mess it up it's not a big deal please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day